Hello and welcome to season two of the Grand Tour. You guys absolutely destroyed the first part. Thank you so much. Keep the likes and support coming. We're now about to begin season two. Um, so this might be split up over two videos. I don't know yet, uh, to be honest. But I know season three will be releasing on the 18th of January, which is three days away. So uh, it'll be out soon. And I can also record that, hopefully. Um, I'm still surprised the first episode is up because it does obviously include a lot of cutscenes from uh, the Grand Tour, the actual episodes themselves. So, and a lot of music. I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm half surprised it's still up. So, fingers crossed it does stay up. Hope you guys enjoyed it if you did watch it. And let's jump in to part two, season two. Past, present, or future. So, I believe this is actually based on the first episode of season two but i looked into the trophies and it does seem to be a lot more trophies for season three so that's interesting i don't know how that's gonna work so yeah for these get all golds season one episode one season two episode one then this one season three episode one all the way down to episode 12. so yeah, I'm guessing there's perhaps a lot more game content in Season 3. I've got no idea. I'm going to find out. Anyway, Episode 1, Season 2, start. everyone and welcome welcome to our permanent new home here in the green heart of england land oh yeah, oh, yeah. can i just say it's not so much green as inconvenient <laughs> why is it inconvenient well jeremy how would you like to tell the ladies and gentlemen why you decided to put our tent precisely here ah it is exactly here because this spot is exactly halfway between May's house and Hammond's house. So there is no squabbling over who had the longest commute. Yes, but, but your house is just over there. I can <laughs> see it. Just there. I haven't got a house. You may remember you blew it up. Oh, all right. Your backup house. Yeah, your spare house is just there. <laughs> Let, let's not get bogged down with whose house is the nearest. It's yours. Definitely yours. Is that That's your really cat? <laughs> the point is... Oh, hang on, Jezza, you've got a parcel. <laughs> no, I can tell the there's a man is... putting one of those I can't be asked to ring the doorbell cards through the letterbox. <laughs> the tent is located here, yes, but this is still very much the Grand Tour. The globe is still our playground, as you will see from this short clip of what's coming up. on a car show before. Save the world. <laughs> Oh, 
shit. Here they come. Oh, oh there we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, get out of the way, I'm in a race. I got up this morning, too late to go to work. Extending fuel nozzle. We are pumping gas! And we got to drive up there. Fire service is now available in your air. Better than him. Hello. <laughs> You're gonna have to work a bit harder, Jaguar. We've been busy. We have been very busy. Anyway, that, that is all to come. This, however, is now, and we have an important job to do, an important question to answer. Which is better, the past, the present, or the future? By which I mean, which is better, petrol power, hybrid power, or electrical power? Now, to do this, we are going to use the Lamborghini Aventador S, which has a petrol engine and is therefore from the pages of ancient history. And that will be driven by our resident Neanderthal. <laughs> Representing the present day, we have the Honda NSX, which is a modern hybrid. And that, obviously, will be driven by somebody crisp and contemporary. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I shall be driving something from the future, an all-electric supercar from Croatia. I don't know how that ends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and while we're on... And while, while we are on the subject of me, I decided to take charge of where we would do this test. I'm tired of these two picking places that I don't like or understand, which is why this week the Grand Tour is off to Switzerland. Well, here it is, the RIMAC Concept One. The world's first electric supercar. Go! Right, the question is, will Hammond crash <laughs> in season two of the game? Uh, he's got to, surely, it's gotta happen. Oh my God, the speed. You can't even hear it. I mean, it is an absolute piece of engineering, but it just lacks that little bit of V10 magic or V12 or V8. It just lacks that. It's just silent. It's just pure silent. Yes, it's very quick. No doubt about that. But it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> oh God, indeed. Should I drift around this? Oh, that actually worked out quite well. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sword. slightly alarmed. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> you know what's to come. So, a minute and ten. Can we get a gold on our first ever scene in season two? Come on. Nine seconds left. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Yes. Gold. Good start. Better in the past. Christopher Wren was a better architect than those 
numpties you see on Grand Designs. Bob Seger could belt out a better tune than Justin Bieber. And this Lamborghini is better than Hammond's Lady Shaver. Just is, in every way. Hammond's Lady Shaver. <laughs> Some of the quotes they come out with. Oh, I love it. Alright, now it's time for the Lamborghini. The complete opposite of the last one. One minute ten again. Is it exactly the same track? I think it is actually. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. I wouldn't complain. Again, um, for the price, I'm finding it very hard to complain. That's what I'm going to say. It is fun. Very, very fun. Um, also, I want to make sure you guys know uh, the multiplayer is local only. Local split screen. And I can now do it right now, by the way. So, I played the game today and split screen is now available. Bit of a scratch, it's all good. It's all good, don't worry. Absolute drift boss. Slight little um, dink in the paint, but it's alright. About 15 seconds left. This just sounds so much better. Glorious fume. Another gold in the bag. The present is best. Everything in the world now is better than it was a minute ago. And everything in the world now is better than it's going to be in another minute, because we don't know what that is yet. It might be the nuclear holocaust. Humankind can only live in the present, and that's why you need a Honda NSX, okay? Honda NSX, okay. Doing the same track again, but in a different car. Help! <laughs> Help! I'm not, honestly, I know this car's pretty good, but it's a bit, I don't know, like, I'm not really, I've lost the, the sense of hype for this car. I was obviously quite excited when I heard about it. The NSX is a legendary car, but, yeah, it just didn't really deliver. Which is quite disappointing. I'm hoping uh, the new Supra will uh, impress me. It could be a, a car for, for my future, who knows? I don't, actually don't know what the price is, so it could definitely be for me. If it's cheap, that is, which I doubt it is. Nothing cheap these days. It sounds incredibly old sound. <laughs> James May seems to be enjoying that. Perhaps a little bit too much. Oh, this one could be tight. This could be very tight. The NSX is probably the slowest car. Oh no. Please get, give me a gold, please. Oh my god, that was close. The NSX is by Four milliseconds. The cleverest of the three cars here because of its dual power train. It has the dependability, the availability of fossil fuels and the magic and helpfulness, if you like, of electricity. It's a hybrid and it really is rather brilliant. They probably think this is some sort of Eastern European electric milk float in a supercar suit. Well, they're wrong. Very wrong. Get ready! What are we going to do? Race? Perhaps we're going to race. I don't know. We're off. I think it's a race. Actually, not a milk float. So I've got to get there within 40 seconds. I think. Or hold, I don't know. What does it want me to do? Don't lift. Try not to lift. Might have to lift now. Yeah. A bit breaky, breaky. I've got to pull that bar up within the time frame. What do I get? Yes. Got a gold. And I know it's Ooh. very fast. But I also know it can't do this. Oh. Okay. I'm sold. <laughs> I know it looks it's my like favourite. Three of us are just clowning around in some supercars on a lovely, lovely day on a beautiful bit of road. This is important work. 
Very important. Very important indeed. Let's go for the NSX. Screw it. Why not? Oh God. First place! Same track again. I have to be a little less. This is new. Snippy snippy! Oh no. Ow! I need another, I need another gadget. Oh, the cars behind me are incredibly quick. Oh wow, I'm like an ice cream man. I think someone slipped. I don't know who, but someone definitely slipped. It sounded like Richard Hammond, ironically. I think drifting is probably best for these corners. I'm getting the handle of this game right now. I'm getting it. Took me a while, but I'm getting it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That's unfair. I was about to win. Go away. Oh, that is a joke. Oh, so much time. You don't have to read the text message. We won. Another gold in the bag. Work, we decided to pull over and start acting like important car journalists. Mm. Ironic. You may mock the idea of a Croatian supercar, but Rimac is already working with Koenigsegg and Aston Martin on their battery tech. It's a serious company, so serious that they make nearly every bit of this car themselves. Sat-nav, switchgear, headlamps, all in-house. Mm, apart from the leather, if you go for that, which is Bulgarian. Oh, I love Bulgarian leather. It's my favourite, but anyway... The reason I like the Aventador most is because it defines the supercar. It wasn't designed to do a billion round brands hatch, it was designed to do nine on Knightsbridge. It was designed to make people go, wow, and it does. If you want to go fast, buy a Ferrari. Or a Rimac. Well, that's for shaving your legs, if you're a lady. I love the Lamborghini as well, the styling especially, it's fantastic, but you know that the sort of time and thought that Lamborghini put into that, Honda put into things that they thought were important, like making a new type of steel section for that pillar so it can be smaller, so you can see out better. Ten radiators to cool the drivetrain and lots of other stuff that make modern technology simple to use. I just don't like it. Well, how is that relevant? I'm talking about it and I, I like, like it. I just, so I was, you're wrong. I wanted you're to really like it, but I don't. You're redundant. I didn't like I really wanted to like it. I've been ten years looking forward to it. I wanted to like it. I got in and I didn't like it. But it doesn't matter because I do. You are no, wrong. You're, I'm not wrong. I you do are. Like Eventually, we stopped arguing and set off. Sadly, however, things took a turn for the worse when we arrived at the hotel that Hammond had booked. What? Hammond? What is a wellness retreat? One of eight. More specifically, hang on, it said Swiss natural detox. It's, what is that? It's handy for where we need to be. Can we get a drink here? No. Are you serious? Yes. Do you realise that could result in your death? Could. Yes. Sorry. Will. What are you thinking of? Why? Well, it's convenient, it's near many things well, I want to be near. Hotel. I, do they do colonic here? Yes. Would you like to know what colonic feels like? The new electric version. Do they really do colonic here? You might feel better for it. I won't feel better You'll for it. You'll thank me for it in a bit. Would you like a glass of water, James, and some kale? Oh, yes, that's what I always have for supper. Over dinner that night, the mood was dark. How long are we here for? Four days. Four days? I've got a lot of things planned. Yeah, but we're going to starve to death, Hammond. No, you won't. Listen, what this is, is tough love. For, well, not love for you two, but it's what you need. It's tougher hate than usual is what I'm giving you. I'm taking you in hand and, and for both of your sakes, turning you around, turning over a new leaf. I actually think James is looking better already. Look at him. He isn't him. looking better, he's looking angry. He's You're going to look a lot worse in a minute. I can guarantee that. Look at the view. Look at that. Look at that. You can't eat that.
Our first outing was to a museum in the nearby city of Lucerne. Uh, Richard Hammond. This is first step to race. All about the race. Again, I think this might be new. And I believe all these uh, tracks are available in the split screen mode, along with the vehicles as well. Split screen feels, feels like something from the past. There's a reason why they don't do it, because it's very, very demanding on the console to produce that image several times. It's, it's just, it's very, very difficult. It involves a lot of power. Uh, and obviously we have the, uh, the online mail, so... Makes life a little bit easier. Oh, come on! Get that out of my face. Thank you. Have a little bit of slippy slip. Oh, what is this? Drip! Oh, it's still crashing. Oh my god. Have a bit of fog. Pink fog. Candy vlog. Vlog? <laughs> Keep going! Where's the finish line? I want another gold! We've done it. That was actually the easiest event I've ever done. Night over dinner, the mood was even darker. The following day, it didn't improve because Hammond made us go on exactly the same route as he had the day before. And after Hammond had plugged his car into the same charging point, we went off to look at that day's underwhelming attraction, the Museum of Chess. Boom! I win! He doesn't even know how to play, does he? And then the penny dropped. Hammond, what? what are we doing tomorrow? Going to a pencil museum. Is the pencil museum in the same town as this museum? Yes. Do you keep bringing us to this town because it's the only one within 100 miles of our wellness centre where there is a fast charging point for your car? Yes. So, that night, after another plate of weeds, James and I sacked Hammond as team leader and came up with our own schedule. Right, we found an airfield and now we're going to have a drag race which is a lot more interesting than going to a museum. I thought he'd like museums. I mean, he's driving one. Track, check, traction, yes. I put it in launch, which sets the rear two engines in the first of their two gears. The front two engines only have one gear. I do not know how that works. Why doesn't the car stretch or overtake itself? The simple fact of the matter is that because this car has no electrical gubbins, it is, despite appearances, the lightest car here. And it has 730 horsepower. So allow me please to demonstrate that you can't beat old time rock and roll. <laughs> it's time for a drag race. <laughs> it's so quiet. It makes no Cross sound. Oh, difficult. Two, one. Too high. Damn it. Why did we start that one? Ah! That was really hard. It's like a really small green spot. Cross mode. This is electric. Three, two, one. Oh. Too high again. I can't do this. Shall I retry again? <laughs> I'm just going to keep retrying it. Because there's no way I'm going to win it unless I get it in that green, little Three, green bit. Two, one. Done it. Yes. Perfect start. Wow. We are flying. 
I'm gonna take off. And we're done. Took a few goes, but we did it. That Rimac just f***s off. <laughs> if that is the future, I am so ready! Oh! Oh! I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything move as quickly as that. Not with number plates. Annoyed that my dinosaur had been humiliated, I decided to show Hammond that it still has enough power to kickstart a dying star. Yes! That's what Lamborghinis are all about. Oh, it's time for some drifting! So I'm guessing I said, yeah, just drift. Drift, drift, and drift. Oh. About halfway. There we go. Done it. Oh, the tire's gone. The tire's completely gone. Oops. Sit <laughs> Whoops. The entire tire has been consumed by the heart of the monster. It has. Do you know the thing was? The tire pressure warning light came on. What could that have meant? Well, it meant that the, on this, it was specifically telling me that there was a problem with this tire. So I ignored it. Yes. Yeah. It's a good job you're not an airline that pilot. Yes. However, we'll get it fixed. And then, actually, we ought to find a track. Uh, and then I will uh, be able to thrash oh, you. Mate, what do you no, know? No. You won't find a track in Switzerland, will you? Because motor racing is banned. What do you mean banned? It is. Yeah. 1955. There was an accident in France at Le Mans. The Swiss banned motorsport. It's still banned today. We can think of something else. Something that requires four tyres. Oh, God, I tell you what, though. It doesn't mean another night in his hotel. And you're going to drive there on a space saver. No, I know something we can do. <laughs> what? There's plenty to occupy us at the hotel. Well, Come not, on. not supper. I may take a while, because I'm going to buy some... The thing that they banned was that because in the famous Le Mans crash, cars crashed into each other in the but that can't happen in a hill climb. So would they allow stuff against the clock? I don't know because I've got a tube up my ass. Come on, think, Clarkson. I think you can do hill climbing in Switzerland, but I don't know for sure because I've got a tube up my ass. Right. Okay, but that's a start. Let's see if we can find out. Out! Ah! After a bit of digging around, James discovered there was a Swiss hill climb event on that weekend. And it was only 200 miles from our hotel. Which was fine for some of us. At this speed, six of my 12 cylinders are shut down. They're not using any fuel at all. So I could probably do 400 miles on the fuel I have. Just check on James. Uh, James, are you able to make the hill climb event 200 miles away? Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, yes, I am. Well, how do you know without fuel gauge? Be oh, I, can't, I can't be bothered. It's not straight, is it? Admit it. Happy piling the motorway miles on your precious cars, are you? Good. Why is there somebody talking to us from a van, James? It's a lorry. Hey, Hammond, I don't know where you are, but there's a really remarkable-looking futuristic car on the back of a truck. Must just be a mock-up, I suppose, otherwise it would be being driven. Yeah, you pile the miles on, enjoy yourself. After leaving the van driver far behind, James and I arrived at what's almost certainly the most beautiful hill climb event in the world. Mm, what? All good for you. Oh, yeah. It's the van driver. Mm. Well, he won't have the energy to drive up the hill. Well, he won't have the energy to drive mm. up the hill. Here Morning. I am. Car rested, ready, and fully charged. Oh, oh, breakfast, oh. actual food, brown food. Mm. Yeah. Well, so. professional racers do carb load, don't mm. they, before races? 
Right. So you're sort of going... Like all athletes, carb load. Yeah, they don't I, let us load. As I walked over, I saw you two and thought, athletes, shut up, Howard. With the practice session complete, it was time to go against the clock. And for me, this was a problem. Because the rules said that in timed runs, I had to wear a helmet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right, well, I can either drive like this with a helmet on, or what the hell are we going to do? It was time to break out my genius. Lamborghini's got one of their test drivers here. He's about this big. What's your name? Jack Giacomo. Giacomo. Giacomo is the Italian name. Giacomo. 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 Whatever. Don't worry, you look exactly like me. I'll tilt that camera down, it'll make you look taller. Be fine with a crash helmet on, yep. curly hair, same as me. <laughs> but you've got to sound like me. All right. So, Hammond, you idiot. Say that, Hammond, you idiot. Hammond, you idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Exactly, because he always is an idiot, so you can always drop that in. It's a useful phrase. Hammond the other one is, this is the fastest car, pause, in the world. This is the fastest car, pause, in the world. Say it. This is the fastest car, pause, in the world. With all that sorted out, James took his place on the start line. This is the big one. It's time for the hill climb. And to try and not clash. Yes. Might be true. We'll see. I imagine there'll be some uh, pretty tricky corners. Might involve of Oh, I got a penalty. Great. A whole second? That seems a little bit harsh. Fine. Grab a brace. Apex is there. Oh, that was perfect. Nailed it! How long left? 30%. Where did Hammond crash? I think it's off here, wasn't it? Off the, um, off the finish line. Goal of gold! Nice one. So far we have gold all around. My concentrating face, that's the most I've concentrated for five years. <laughs> then it was my turn. Well. That is not Jeremy Clarkson, I can confirm. He's a Lamborghini test driver. So, no pressure, but this should be the quickest time. I have to behave like a absolute boss driver. I think the other two presenters do work it out. <laughs> oh, the accent's actually changed as well. Love it. I like little details like that. <laughs> Yeah! Love it. How we doing? We should be okay. Car is quick. A Ventador. Done. Loads of time spent. Astonishing time on the score sheet. Hammond had it all to do. And we decided to give him some encouragement. Hammond? Yeah. Really, really big crowds here today, as you can see. Yeah. Okay? Because they know you're going to break the record here. Well, F 54 seconds. 54. Well, come on, you've got 1,200 horsepower. You've been practicing all morning. Yeah, you, actually, it is the most powerful car here by some margin. <laughs> well, I can't promise well, to... It's your fastest win. car I've ever seen. Look at it this way. The whole of Croatia is watching this, knowing that you're going to do it for them. In 52 seconds' time, you're going to be whatever the equivalent of a hero of the Soviet Union is, but in modern-day Croatia. I don't, they'll have and an not just Croatia, but it's, it's the whole out. Eastern European region. Yeah. You have got a lot riding on your shoulders, Richard you Hammond. Will a be, lot. You will be on a coin. Thank you, guys. His face will be on a coin. Or a stamp. Oh, I'm quite nervous. I'm suddenly nervous. Uh, do we crash? I want to crash in the game. Okay, here we go. Give me your best shot, Rich. Yeah. Watch this. Let's 
go. This should be the quickest time. Should be. Oh my god, it is quick. Oh my dear lord. Uh, it is super duper 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 quick. Come speed probably. Oh my god. I almost hit the wall there. He barely kept on, straight. Keep going. Come on. This is it. He just can't do any better. This car is insane. <laughs> and we have a goal. Yes. And then he may crash. Right, I have the times here. Are you ready? <laughs> Representing the present day. The Honda NSX did it in 120.4. Okay? Representing the past, the Lamborghini Aventador did it in 1 minute 10.4. And this is the big one representing the future. The Rimac did it in 1 minute 14.7. Yes! I am the winner. Oh, I'm victorious. Wait a minute. The past. You weren't, you weren't even driving the bloody car. Well, you were driving your car and you crashed it. Yes, but I crashed after the finishing line, like a professional. <laughs> Hammond, when was the last time you went home after work not in an air ambulance? Now, when was the last time you took your own clothes off at night rather than have a paramedic cut them off in a field? Now, hang on a minute. You crashed after the finishing line, so our cameras weren't there. We had to get that clip from YouTube. That is not professional. That is selfish. Look, I, it don't, is. I just don't know how it happened. We, we do. do. We know exactly how it happened. History has taught us you can't drive in a straight line. <laughs> and now we've seen you can't drive around the corner either. Do you know what's a really remarkable thing about that crash? What? That car continued to catch fire five days after it happened. F what? Five bursting days. into... Yeah, spontaneously bursting into flames. And the reason is the accident damaged one of the cells in the lithium-ion battery. That causes a short circuit, it catches fire. But then that damages the next cell, so that one catches fire. And so it goes on. There are 8,000 cells in that thing. So it's like a chain reaction. What do they call it? Yeah, chain reaction. It's called thermal runaways. Bang, 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 um, bang. So it goes on. I was all right. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's relevant. OK. We don't care. And anyway, it's time to end the programme with a conclusion to our very thorough test. And it's this. The future is very fast and extremely quiet, but a bit burny. <laughs> and on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Guys, I got all gold. We did it. That was definitely easier than uh, season one, for sure, 100%. Uh, yeah, that is season two done. Season three is coming, I believe on the 18th of January, but I don't know how it releases does it, does it release all the episodes or just one episode at a time i i, I don't i don't know but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon and bye bye